I'm Lauren Sun from Sheffield on AC, but no brag! I'm Tessa and I'm from Sheffield and I'm actually feels from Pike Hills uh, Black Veil Brides tonight alive in Wet Panda. <laughs> my name's Leah and I'm here because I love Black Veil Brides. <laughs> my name's Jodie and I love all the bands and Black Veil Brides. I'm a rambler. <laughs> my name's Callie and I'm here to see Tonight Alive. I'm Tasha, I'm from Nottingham and I'm here to see Tonight Alive and Phyllis from Pike Hills. My name's Sarah Gregory, I'm from Nottingham and I'm here to see Black Veil Brides. <laughs> I am Lucy from Sheffield and I'm here to see Fearless Vampire Killers. Woo! Here I'm holding this week's issue, the Valentine's special of Kerrang! magazine. And inside, the 5k review. I get the feeling Mr. James Hickey watched Fearless Vampire Killers. Thought 5Ks. Do I need to watch anyone else? No. <laughs> I'll leave it. I'm gonna ask Paul Harry's. I'm gonna ask Paul Harry's. Did he think the gig was alright? If he says yes, 5Ks. If not, I'll just do 5Ks and then maybe give the rest 3Ks or 4Ks. I think obviously after watching that and that <laughs> and that, <laughs> what else does anyone need? <laughs> It was good, it was our first time playing Sheffield, so um, we've played Leeds a couple of times before, but it was nice to come and play in a new city, and um, it was a good crowd. The kids were quite receptive, it's sort of, um, you get those nights where you're like, okay, put your fists up, or like clap, and stuff like that, and people were like, Ugh. but everyone was just like, yeah, into it. Yeah. They were ready to go, it's kind of been like that every night on the crane tour. Yeah, tonight's gig was really good, um, but everything messed up. <laughs> But I solved it. <laughs> and I They're saved the show. <laughs> through expertise and muscle. Me, 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 me. Just kidding, I was in the UK and I met this band called Tonight Alive. And they said, Crikey, mate, why do you have to hate on everything all the time? As an Australian, how have you been coping with the uh, the wintry weather today? Cause it's snowing like hell outside. You know what? I think there's been colder days, but um, the snow's amazing. Like we never see snow. Well, I don't anyway. I don't go looking for it, but we don't have it commonly. So it was amazing to see snow today. It's just like magic, really. So backstage is Sheffield O2 Academy. Uh, how did you find tonight's show? Uh, tonight's show was awesome. It was a lot of fun. Um, because I don't have my boots and I'm wearing these uh, these red shoes, I slipped a lot tonight. Um, so much that I felt like I was borderline uh, like ice skating on stage at some points. So I didn't get to move around as much as I normally do, but uh, I had a really good time. It was a lot of fun. Um, the kids were definitely into it. It was a really energetic crowd. My show was awesome. Um, first time I played in Sheffield, so it was heaps better than I thought it would be. So definitely going to come back um, this year again and rock on. You were without your shirt at one point. Oh, I know. They well, they were chanting, they were chanting "Top Off," and you know what can I say? They made me feel like a slut, but I, I took it off. 
And um, it's the coldest day on the tour, though. It is the coldest, and on stage and in the venue is the coldest day. Um, I was still sweating a lot. I think my shirt's still drenched. Um, but when I was walking down on the stage, I was nipping. It was definitely, definitely cold. Um, but yeah, they got they got my shirt off from Channing Top off, um, which is awesome. I mean. I know it makes me look like a tool, but it's um, you know it's pretty awesome when fans are enthusiastic about what it is that you're doing and they're just enjoying the show. You know, um, a lot of these kids don't know who we are, and it's it's cool to get them involved in some way or another. And if that means that they chant top off, I mean, so be it. I'm cool with that. I usually wake up at like 8:30, 9:30. I set my alarm a few different times. Um, wake up. Um, sometimes do a bit of yoga. Probably not because I'm pretty tired at the moment. Um, then we drive for about half an hour. And we eat at like Sainsbury's or Tesco's or um, Frank and Benny's. We just sort of stop where we can, and then we keep going. And we get to the venue, load in, um, do a bit of press, maybe three or four interviews, um, and then we sound check and we eat because catering is awesome on a catering tour. It's beautiful. And um, and then we get to hang out a little bit. And Feels Vampire Killers go on a seven every night, so that's kind of my mark of where my night really starts. That's when I start warming up, and we're on at ten to eight. So. Uh, it's a good night. As you can tell. <laughs> uh, there's yes. a little box out uh, where you're talking about uh, One Direction. Yes, I yes. understand there's been a bit of um, a backlash. Response, yeah. Oh my gosh. All over my Instagram and Twitter, the One Directioneers are, are lashing out against me. And um, I don't think any of them actually read it. I just think they saw that it said that I had beef with him. So they don't know if I actually sat down and had a cheeseburger with him. I don't think they know the difference, really, because they didn't read it. Um, which just further kind of proves my point. Yeah. Do you um, stand by your words? I absolutely stand by my words. Actually, if anything, I'm, I'm more convicted now than I was previously. It was kind of a joke at first. And now um, that it's kind of been drilled into my head, I'm thinking of it more. And yeah, I mean, I would like less rock stars to become, uh, you know, if, if you want to call him a, like a rock star, uh, less, I guess, musicians um, to become stars through TV shows. Uh, you know, everyone's trying to get, uh, you know, on, um, you know, all these different programs on TV. Um, and I think that you know you need to go out and work for it. Um, you know, uh, I think that it builds character and that it, it really helps a lot. Um, plus, I mean, you know, I'll stand by anybody that writes their own music and actually believes in the message that they're they're selling. If anything, I feel bad for the fans because they're being manipulated by you know the quote unquote system without sounding like too much of a conspiracy. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Do you yes. have any uh, sort of last minute advice or tips uh, for uh, the viewers? Oh, don't you don't want love advice from me? I'm I'm not good at it. <laughs> I'm not good at it. Um, so I would say stay clear of love. Don't don't worry about it. Have fun. Find a best friend. Things like that work out way better than worrying about falling in love and and Valentine's Day and celebrating when you should be celebrating life anyways. Pretty much. I want to strike up a rapport with Birmingham. I think Birmingham needs to be my Valentine. So. Gonna, gonna How would you off. woo one of the biggest cities in the UK? I'm not allowed to say it. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I, 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 you know, I'd sing to them like, like you would your bird. <laughs> Why do you have to have a special day to show you love? You should love every day. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Valentine's Day. I hate Valentine's Day. <laughs> like scour, um, like restaurants, find people that sit by themselves and like offer to buy them a drink and like say that they're brilliant even if they're not <laughs> <laughs> Flowers yeah. Flowers always it's just the, the standard easy thing but girls love it and um, just don't be a dickhead really spend that day not being a dickhead and, uh, and they'll love it 101 Valentine's Day for dummies We're together on Valentine's Day so we don't need anybody else. Love her. I reckon if you're trying to get someone's attention or you know do something special for them, something that I always loved as a gift was a big CD. There's nothing like giving someone you care about like a bunch of your favorite songs <laughs> or songs that remind you of them. I think it's super thoughtful. So um, yes. if you're going for something sort of from the heart, I think that's where you should start. What would I sing with? Yeah, my bum. <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry. I won't. It's I'll, not I'll very sing. romantic. I'll, it's not very romantic. I'll, I'll sing like an angel, um, as I always don't. And <laughs> that'll be amazing. Sorry, I've got a few people around here getting <laughs> distracted. You're rubbish. More importantly, do you Sorry. like my jump? Yeah, Actually, I'm going to use an owl. This is this is what's going to woo them. I'm going to use my pet owl. Pet I'm going to call him on the stage. <laughs> he's going to come down, he's going to land on my arm, and I'm going to stroke him, and he's going to sing the little quiet bit till I'm still standing. I've said it, now it has to happen. Right. If it doesn't. Do you know him? Have you been in talks with this owl for the uh, performance? It's actually Hedwig from Harry Potter. Right. How, how far do you go back with the, the old wig? Well, I actually gave them to Harry. Right. Just after it was a little bird, or whatever they call little birds. Chicks? Still an owl. <laughs>